Kai. My name is David Aydozi, address of the Sector on Maya. In this video, I want to show you how you can create a, a shell proxy modifier and set my Pro 2.0. I have already set up my Manai Pro, so you do that by downloading from the link below. And uh, now I need to create my objects. Uh, I want to use a Z with the mouse button. I select the plane, W for move it. And now Z, left mouse button. And from here, I can create my shell proxy. So, as you can see, my shell proxy came out with the bevel, but you can disable bevel from the channel box and the off if you don't want it, or enable to on if you want it. Now I can uh, use these objects, these master objects, for change something inside of the thickness. So, press Z to have access to, um, to the component mode, Ctrl E for create an extrusion. Now I can move my 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 edge, I can extrude my elements uh, in this way to have some changes, as you can see, with, uh, with elements. Another thing you can do is using any kind of uh, modeling tool, for example, if I select this edge, select this edge with Shift Z, left mouse button, now I can, for example, using a bridge for bridging through these two elements, and now you can see the thickness is continuous and uh, will be generated in the closer spaces. I think so this is very powerful element. I think I can do, for example, is select these faces and uh, create another extrusion uh, working with uh, offsets. Make a little bit of offset and uh, delete these faces with canch. And now I have a hole inside of my inside of my shell proxy. And uh, it's very it's very interactive way to do that. I think so. So I can use, for example, multicut tool and uh, select this art, this element, the left mouse button. Now I have my multicut tool. I want to create a new edge here. Press Enter to close it. Now W for now I need to select my edge W for moving and uh, voila. As you can see, it's work interactively. With it. Another thing you can do with this element, if I select it, is in uh, object mode, you can press Z and the left mouse button, and now you have uh, the ability to have control of uh, of this uh, of this. Uh, of these uh, elements. So I can use a multi-cap tool, I can bevel it, I can extrude again, I use a select edge, make a selection based on rules, I can use a moot or I can use more uh, related uh, related uh, tools like uh, subdivision shell if I want to use the subdivision shell on and off or I want the touch shell. If you touch the shell now the shell became an uh, independent object and this is I think so it's pretty great. But I can select uh, again the master object and recreate the shell again. So I hope you find this video useful and bye.